Hello. How's your weekend? I'm Corinne. How are you doing today? I have a couple guacamoles here and I have a fresh tomato, a fresh wedge of lemon that I used from, I saved from the last time I used the lemon and a fresh open onion from just yesterday. These avocados are perfectly ripe. And then I have some, let's see, this is basil and this is parsley. And they're a little wilted, but they still smell fresh. And I just used them for a soup yesterday. So it's cause I just washed them. That's why they look wilted. And the basil is borderline. I'm gonna find some green parts on there. It smells, the green part is perfect. So I'm not putting any brown vegetables ever in my dishes. And this is a serrano pepper. It happens to be a thick one and I just used it for like two meals yesterday. I love pepper. I'll, I'll use all kinds of peppers. So let's begin with our guacamole. And for those of you who joined in to my post here on Facebook where I wrote about real estate and I said, feel free to join in the comments and ask me any questions. Thank you for participating. That really made my day because I did that when I laid down last night and I've had this feeling that a lot of people, they wanna do or find out more about what I do in real estate. And I thought, well, I have this channel, this show here, right? So I might as well educate people and then I'll feel better about myself because I'll, I already feel great just by having this station, you know, cause I'm also on YouTube and TikTok, and also on Cameo. I'm on Cameo. It's at Corinne Celebrity over there and it's at Corinne Virtual Coach on Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. And I spell it C-O-R-I-N. You can see it there on the little icon. You can just press the icon and it'll take you to my page. So this is how I cut the avocados. I just cut them in half and I just pluck out the pit as you saw. So I make it really simple by just using a little knife. And how are you guys doing? It's lovely to see you. I just give it one swoop. I love how ripe these are. I plan on doing more real estate. That's why I called this real estate and avocados. So we're making guacamole to celebrate the weekend for all the hard work that we do. And also I would love to tell you more about how I'm going to be incorporating more real estate into this channel. It's a page on Facebook and it's a channel on tick on a uh, TikTok, yeah, on YouTube. It's definitely a channel on YouTube. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be investing in some more real estate. Yay! And that's why I wore green, so I could look like a giant avocado. Hey guys, how are you? Thank you. What's fake? <laughs> The fact I'm investing in real estate? No, that's real. I've been doing that all my life. The avocados are fake? <laughs> Hello, thank you guys. Hello, nice to see you. Hi there. All right. I decided that I would appear today as my alter ego. This is my alter ego. This is how I used to wear my hair and the color and everything. And it's the real me. I am a redhead and my hair just gets blonde from the sun. So yeah, this is the real me, the real McCoy. So let's get this fresh, anything brown I cut out. See, cause I'm telling you about this real estate endeavors of mine. And so I'm moving a little slower because I'm using a knife and I wanna be able to Put, I want to make fresh guacamole and I don't want any brown. My hair color keeps changing. Yes, my hair color changes with my mood. Okay. 
It really does, too. It changes a lot with the sun, too. So I have two medium avocados. I had these groceries delivered. So I would have chose probably the same ones because they're perfect. And they smell good. Although avocados don't have much of a smell. Okay, no brown in there. Thanks, Mohammed. My lips, thank you. Mwah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Let's talk about my beautiful earrings and my matching necklace. <laughs> Thank you. I'm really into just looking good, right? Because when you dress to impress, dress for success, I find that when you dress, it improves your mood. So now I like to take the lemon wedge and just squirt it all over the avocado. And let's preheat the oven. I like to heat up the chips. These chips are really thick. Check out these chips, they're really thick. But they're really like stony and they're very hearty and lots of corn. So let's pour some of those into the pot here, the pan. And let's turn on the oven. And then that'll tell us when it's ready because it has a cute chime. Everything I have has a chime. It's so cute. The washer, the dryer, the microwave. Now I need a refrigerator with a chime. So let's get all that lemon. So does anybody have any questions on real estate? And if you do, please write them in my last post or put them here. And we will continue the conversation. We will all thrive together and I will help many people get into their next home right here on my Facebook channel. Cause I feel like that is what that is supposed to happen. Please be respectful. Thank you very much. And no, nothing like that is happening. So we're all good here. I'm good. So I have a serrano pepper and you take some of that and you just chop it up. And you don't want to crunch into the pepper. So you want to dice it really fine. Okay. Now I've worked all my life to get to where I'm at, okay? So I'm very proud, I'm honest. I don't take anybody's shit and word up, okay? Thank you very much. Just know that. So you got this, you just chop it up really nice. Yeah, I sit at my desk for 10, 15 hours, like six days a week, okay? So I've been doing that for 30 years. <laughs> so basically anybody that tries to insult me, it doesn't work. I can't, I don't feel emotion towards insults because I know who I am. I've worked my whole life, see? And everything that I have, I've earned 100%, okay? If anyone wants to attest, I see some people in the audience that know me personally, like they've actually hung out with me, and they will tell you that when they were out partying, I was at my desk creating and producing. So if you want to talk, talk with something behind you. If you can match that, then word up. Okay, word up to you. If you can match it, then match it. You see this? Fresh parsley. Hey, Carrie, you go girl. Tell it like it is. Strong women know their worth. Heck yeah, girl. When you sat at your computer producing television, Okay, I didn't even tell anybody about that. I was actually working for a major studio producing reality TV and I starred in it. And then people write, oh, tell me what you're in. And I tell them, I have a whole three page resume for every career that I have. So if you would like to see it, then let me know who you are. And if, you have, if you're the president of a company, then I would love to show it to you, you know?
a business resume, an acting resume, a modeling resume, and a real estate resume. Hey. Barbara says, where's your mom? Tell her she's missed, mom. Mama. Yeah. <laughs> Barbara says, tell your mom she's missed. Okay, guys, so check it out. Let's get back onto the real estate, okay? Because that's what we're talking here. We're talking about earning money, not just having a place to live, but turning your place to live into a cash cow, like I've done all my life. So we have parsley and chopped pepper, and that goes into the bowl. See how green everything is? Things are very green around here. We have a red tomato, and we're gonna cut the piece out in the middle. There we go. And now you wanna just chop that up. I've decided that real estate is my biggest skill, except for television production, obviously. Okay, you know. <clears throat> and that that is where my hard-earned dollars, you know? So there's a two parts to this. It's not just my hard-earned dollars, it's my time. And remember, time is money, okay? So if you could get a place to live, right? Live in it, and then later cash it in for more than what you paid, right? And if you could actually cover all your expenses, like let's say your mortgage was 1500 a month, and let's say you were, and let's say your capital gain, you live there for two years because you need to be there two years to be able to not have to pay taxes on it. It depends on certain states, but in California and Nevada, it's, so definitely verify that in your state. And so let's get the basil. And so if you could live some, if you could buy property at the right time, and then let's get the green part of the basil because there's some brown parts because it just got brown. It's only like a few days old, but it got brown and so I'm getting all, even the stem, if whatever's green, if there's any, any green stem will work because it has, like someone wrote in one of my videos, they said the stem of the dill and the stem of the parsley is the most nutritious part. And I'm beginning to think they're right. I've been adding it in a lot. So put that in the guacamole and let's get a little more tomato. It's not colorful enough. <laughs> All right, so if you could live in a place, let's pop the chips in and get sort of reimbursed in a way because let's put the timer. Because if your capital gain, let's say you lived in a place for two years and let's just say your mortgage payment was a thousand, okay? So 12 months, that's 12,000, another 12 months, that's two years, that's another 12,000. That's $24,000 $24, that was your mortgage payment that you spent in two years. Let's say you bought a place at $300,000, 300K, right? And let's say you sold it for three eighty. dollars okay? So if you do it yourself without getting a realtor, like I do, you can not have to pay any commission. So the whole 380 is yours, right? So let's say your down payment was 50. So now you're showing a 330, a 30, 330 plus 50, 50,000 is, let's just say it was, let's just say to make it easy, let's just say your down payment was uh, 80. And you sold the house for 380 and you bought it for 300. Okay. 
So $80,000 plus, so let's say, let's say it was a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand down. Let's say a hundred thousand down and let's just make it easy so people can, and let's say you bought it for three. Yeah. Let's say you bought it for three and you put a hundred thousand down. Okay. So remember though, you bought it for three and you're still out the hundred, right? Okay. So two years later, when it's tax free to sell it, your capital gain will become tax free, depending on your state. And you sold it for four, let's just say. And it's very feasible because houses, housing markets go up. They considerably go up in every market every year. Life gets more expensive and so does real estate. And sometimes it dips, but it always goes up higher to where it was before. You notice that? Because you could say, well, this is record breaking. This is the first time it's ever been worth this. And so you sold it for four. So now you bought it for three. And so you, now you have a hundred thousand dollar capital gain, right? And so a hundred thousand dollars of that goes back into your pocket because that was your down payment. And maybe you still have a bit of a mortgage because most of the interest is paid in the advance. So basically you have a hundred thousand dollar capital gain. You lived somewhere that you wanted to live for two years and you spent $1,000 a month, $24,000 in two years, okay? So you deduct the $100,000 capital gain. I always do this. I say, well, I wanna figure out if I also lived rent-free and had a capital gain because that happened to me on my last place. And so I actually lived rent free. I figured out my mortgage amount. It's not rent, but you know, I lived free. My mortgage was free because I got reimbursed by my capital gain. And so if I got a hundred back, I deduct 24, which is 76. And that's a $76,000 profit, right? So now you take that $76,000 and you reinvest it in a bigger house. Julie, buy and sell in the same market. Yeah, definitely. Because you get to know it. Ride the wave. So now we're going to add some onion in. So basically, in that scenario, you got to live free because your mortgage payments, you got reimbursed. And your mortgage payments usually includes the, it's called impounding, where they, they escrow it in. There's different terms. You could say impounding or escrow. That gets all paid in the payment. So your property tax and your homeowner's insurance is in your payment usually. So you live completely free for two years and you earned $76,000, right? Sign me up, right? So that's what I do and that's what I'm teaching people how to do. And keep in mind, because I've been doing consulting my whole life. It's one of my professions. So that's funny because I don't even have a resume for that because everyone knows that I'm smart and people literally, I'll, I'll do it for free most of the time. Let's keep that on keep warm. That way after I chill the Glock, I'll be able to just pop this back in. And let's set the alarm. Anytime that I cook, I set that alarm because if you ever like cook something and then walked away, don't lie. I'm telling you right now, it's happened to everybody, everybody. And it's just, you were lucky if you didn't burn down the house. I actually smelled the fire once or heard the alarm and was able to get the fire department to break into that building. And my place was connected to that building. And so they actually broke in and found that no one was home and the pot was burning on the stove all the water had boiled out and it was about to catch fire onto the cabinet so i saved those that entire building from burning down because i was in the bathroom and i heard a thing go beep 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 and usually you overlook those because you say oh somebody's fire alarm is going off right but my great spirit all of our great god our great spirit whatever you want to call the great lord above Wow, see, a pan of boiling eggs. Oh, that would smell so bad. So I'm gonna shred these onions 
And so they told me, get back in that bathroom and listen to that noise again. And I said, why? It's somebody's smoke alarm. It said, no, it's definitely something. And I said, no, shoot, huh? And I didn't take any chances with my sixth sense on that noise. It was just a regular smoke alarm. You know, the ones that just go off automatically sometimes and that most people overlook. Well, I heard it through the wall in the building behind me. And I started evacuating the building. That's how sure I was, even though I smelled no smoke and I had no information at all besides that I heard that and that my guides were telling me that there's big trouble. And so people were pissed at me because I was evacuating them. They were like work night and I had them like standing in the parking lot. And I went up the stairs, which I probably shouldn't do. It's dangerous because I'm not a fireman. But I heard it. And I think I smelled smoke. Yeah, for sure. I smelled something. And by then I had already connected with the fire department and they came out and they told me that I was a hero, that I stopped an entire building from burning down and all the people in it. <laughs> because I paid attention to myself. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Nice to see you. So yeah, the longest guacamole in the world. And I know I'm going to hear ish for it in the comments <laughs> and I don't really care because I had fun talking about real estate and if you want to know more I plan on shooting a bunch of video around these real estate endeavors so please stay tuned and thank you for staying with me it means a lot thank you for your patience we're gonna put this onion in here and hopefully you can pick up some of these now, keep in mind, I've been doing this all my life, okay? It's just I got better at it. Like, I actually started to see a profit. Okay, so, yeah, everybody was like, what should I do? You know, even when I was young, people were asking me my opinion on what they should do with their finances, their houses, and their... But now it's big time. It's just, I'm, I have, it's all word of mouth. My whole clientele is word of mouth at this point. So it feels good. I'm a mega entrepreneur. And I haven't hit my first million yet, but I definitely am working on it. We all have to start somewhere. I can tell you that I'm definitely, oh, I've made millions of dollars over my life. I'm saying like my first deal where I earn a million dollars. No, I've earned millions of dollars all my life and I pay my taxes. <laughs> I have a family accountant. I can say if you want to buy a house, get an accountant, not just someone like H&R or whoever and, you know, they do your taxes. You need a family accountant because there's going to be letters, especially if you're self-employed. Get an accountant, you know, because the lender is going to want a letter from your CPA and that might stop you from buying a house. That's why I titled this Real Estate and Guacamole. Or real estate and avocado. I don't remember which one I put. I think I put avocados. <laughs> so, yeah, I appreciate everybody watching. If you have any questions at all, I'm here to help. I put my email address in there at the end of the video in the comments. I'm not charging for this. This is just a part of my content. I'm really thrilled to announce that I'm doing this because it's in my heart. And I get to film, like, for instance, the next place I buy... They all need a remodel, by the way, every single one of them. I've never bought a house and not put money into it, you know, before I moved in. Like, right when it closes, I already have everybody lined up to get to work. And so this house I'm in, it only took me less than two months from start to finish since the time that I had the connection of a really good remodeling company who now treats me like family and I'm so blessed to have them. I also have a really good lender. I suggest finding somebody that you like to work with, somebody that makes you feel safe and comfortable. And how old I am. No, that's a secret. <laughs> Thank you for asking though. <laughs> Guacamole, yummy. Yeah, Lisa. Thank you. So I have a feeling I'm going to attract, and then I have a feeling, okay, so my female audience went up to 8%.
it was at four and a half the first couple of years. I started this page January 20 of 20. And also I reopened or just kept going on my YouTube page that I was actually, yeah, it was my actress page. And so that turned into my Corinne because Corinne is the actress and the Corinne's done all that, right? And now Corinne is really into the real estate because I have a few projects that I'm working on and they're all going really well. And I want to share because... I know that investing in real estate is the best thing that ever happened to me in my life. And I want people to have comfort around them. So we're going to pop this in the fridge, just as it is. And then me and my mom are going to have some chips and guacamole. And let me wrap this up. I've never invested in anything other than FDIC insured as far as like if you're going to buy a CD at a bank or if you're going to put your money in a high yield interest savings account. And so there's actually a couple banks right now that are offering four and a half, almost 5%. Okay, what does any of that have to do with uh, real estate and being a millionaire. <laughs> That's what I want to know. Hi, Aria. What movies and TV shows did you act in? Actually, I have a big list and I tell people just email me and I'll tell you a few of them because there's hundreds. Okay, so thank you for asking and let's get back to being sustainable and being able to survive in a world of inflation. Yeah, I'm making the guacamole for us. Yes, for sure. It's going to be delicious. She's waiting patiently too, but she knows that this real estate endeavor is more important. So if you're going to invest your money, I invest anywhere that's FDI insured. I'm not a risk taker. I don't invest in stocks. I don't invest in bonds unless they're bank bonds. And the, some of bank bonds are FDIC insured. I don't invest in mutual funds because those are not FDIC insured. And hey, that's just me. And the only insurance besides money investments is real estate. So you always have it to fall back on. You can't like go to sleep and have shelter laying on your stock certificates, you know, <laughs> or a mutual fund package. You could lay next to it and put a rain jacket over it and lay like cuddle up next to it, right? But you can't sleep on it and it won't cover your head at night, okay? Real estate will. So I put all my earnings, all my life, I continuously dump money into my production career, my actor's career, and my real estate career. And I write everything off, everything. Everything I do gets written off. Because when you file as an entertainer, if you become an entertainer, you get to write everything off, even your clothes, if you have a good, a good accountant. Because every, the clothes are the most expensive things, right? So I wear pretty things because I love to be a lady. I love to look good and I get to write it off. I get to write off going out to dinner. I get, you know, as long as it has to do with, and it always has to do with creating. And I don't write off my personal dinners, but everything I've always earned, I've reinvested back because it takes you literally sometimes 20, 30, 40 years when you're self-employed to start showing a real profit. And I can honestly say that all my businesses have been earning more and more every year. Every single thing I do earns more and more every year. And it's not exactly, you know, and I know that because my tax returns have more and more money on them every year. And it's not, it's not like enough, to be honest. Like I have enough energy where I feel like I could do this another 15, 20 years, literally. Not when there's a real estate bubble. Boy, did I learn the hard way. Nothing's for sure. But yeah, Brenda. Oh, I'm sorry that happened. Yeah, I could tell you buy low, sell high. Unless the market is already high. And then buy when you can. 
even if the rates are up, I wrote that in the written post on Facebook, because you could refinance later. And but you so if you buy high, you might be stuck with the price and you'd have to like sell the house literally and go buy another one because you're stuck at that price. So you have to buy lower. And if it's not low because everything is high, if you're willing to wait and go live in an apartment, but I would just buy whenever you can, to be honest, because you never know that $400,000 house could go up to 700,000 in three years, you know, and you won't be able to get a $700,000 house most likely. So better to get that $400,000 house. And this is only if you could afford it. I love you guys for talking about this. But Brenda, if you care to share, maybe you could teach people how you learn the hard way. Because there's, it's always a new day, Brenda. It's always a new day, a new opportunity, a new chance. When you have hope and faith and joy and you manifest you manifest what you want in your life. Let's put some salt and pepper in that guacamole. Okay. So I want way less than a tablespoon here. Okay. I mean, like, that's enough. It was a nice couple streams of salt. And then maybe about five shakes. That's enough. Great, we'll mix it together and we'll put it back in the fridge. Guacamole should be served chilled. And I love leaving little chunks, see? I, it's not like really creamy, it's little chunks, it's hearty, meaty guacamole. So you're probably wondering, okay, I'm open to this. If you're open to it, stick around. I definitely, real estate has taken over my life lately. <laughs> I had to buy a house, sell a house, and buy another one. And it's all like, I'm almost done. And then I have, but I have other projects now because now that these are almost done, like the next ones, like I was in the garage randomly and just a thought came to me and it said, okay, so you're almost done with all these, which, what's next? And I thought, that's a great question. I should, because every time I've ever, like, I've always known there was going to be another house. Like, I've even told my friends, like, oh, I bought this, but there's another one after this. And then, again, like, so I feel that happening again. So, yeah, you're probably wondering, well, how many have there been? And it's definitely quite a few at this point. So, I probably don't have enough fingers to count how many houses I've been involved with now. So it's doing really well and I'm on my way. When I say involved, like a lot of them were mine. Half of them were mine and the other half I've helped people, you know, help my family with theirs. Any questions? Drop it right now. That way I could grab it and we could, we could talk about it. Here, Vicki, I missed a few. Your comments were sitting there, sorry. Are there still houses out there for 400,000? Bought our home last year for 680. Vicky, okay, yeah, there are, I could tell you where, I could tell you that you probably, your house is probably, it doesn't matter where it is around the country, at least a four bedroom and two and a half bath for 680. And if not, it's a really large square footage, three bedroom, minimum two bath house. And yeah, you can find houses for any price because remember, a house is like a commodity. You know, it's not a commodity. It is like one where you always need a place to live and everyone always needs a place. And so houses are like flipping pancakes to me. That's the way I think of it. I flip them real easy. You know what I mean? It's like you've got a house. I'm not physically attached to a house because we have a path and we're supposed to be on our path no matter where that is around the world. And so if it's time to go, it's time to go. I don't get attached to material things. Like cars, same thing. So if you're supposed to be in another place, you flip it out. Flip it out, baby. Do it at the right time. Don't sell it when it's low. If you need to go because your path calls you and your guides are letting, showing you the way, then rent it out and find a really good professional family to rent it to.
I do what state? I do it in California and I do it in Nevada and I've been very successful in both. Thank you for asking. Let me see. How does your mother like moving around? Oh, Colleen. Well, luckily my mom has only gone with me a few times. She's been at her place. So she loves it because, you know, she's adventurous too. Brenda, 2008, the mortgage laws changed and Freddie and Fannie destroy the economy with the help of the political parties in charge at the time. The whole economy collapsed. And as the stock market dove, I invested in real estate to lose my down payment to a downturned economy. Oh, it's all a risk and can change at the drop of a bad legislation. legislation. Yes, Brenda, I'm so sorry, hug. Oh, I'm sorry that you got in when it was going down. That, that can happen at any time. And so, the, the risk, the, the way, like I did say this before, but it was, it, it could apply to yours too. Remember, every problem has a solution. And so if you can rent that house out, you know, and just even, and just break even, even though it's kind of like time consuming, because now you got to wait for the house to go back up. So, and it's kind of a lot of work managing that rental yourself or you you really can't if it went down you can't afford to hire a rental company so you kind of have to manage it yourself you have to interview like a hundred people and it has to be in person because you can't trust what people are telling you you have to see these people and then you have to verify that they're the ones living there too so it's not easy it's not easy renting but that would be the solution to rent and just find a very professional Person with a job, obviously, right? Okay. Oh, you're doing great, Brenda. You did fine. Thank you. Vicki, I'm right. Four bedroom, three bath, 3,000 square feet. Love our home. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, that's a beautiful home. Doreen, it's tough in Maryland. Doreen, what makes it tough in Maryland? because people can learn from that. You know what I mean? Like we might inspire somebody to go buy a house today and they, it might be, you know what a joy it is to own your own home and get out of like rentals and anybody can do it, anybody. Even the unemployed can do it. There's a program for everybody. Vicki, thank you. I love to see you when I can. You're so annoying. You're a doll. Oh, you're a doll, Vicki. You are a doll, big hug. Oh, and then Colleen says, you're a doll taking care of her. I hope my daughter does the same for me. Oh, I'm sure she will because I could tell that you have good genes. I think because my mother took care of her mother. See, when we see our family doing these things, we learn how to take care of each other. And it's lovely. It's what life is all about. Thanks, John, Richard. Thank you for telling me good advice. Brenda, I sold on a short sale. Oh, God, this gets worse, huh? There was nothing else to do. I feel terrible you keep freezing on my end. Oh, I hope... Was this recently, too? But I appreciate your advice, she said. Brenda, whether it was recent or not, listen. Listen, babe, my sister. <laughs> you did it once, and you could do it again, okay? You, you bought a house once. It was an experience. Hey... My first two times were kind of disasters, okay? I had great places, they were nice. But I was a rookie and I got my ass beat, okay? So literally, next time you come back out, you'll know what not to do. And if you wanna, if you can't like narrow down exactly what it is that you did wrong, cause maybe, maybe there's something you could avoid next time, send me an email and tell me a little more details and I'll, I'll show you exactly what went wrong because I don't want it to happen again to you. So if you want that, I'm going to put my email address. And I do all that just out of the goodness of my heart because I love people and I, want, I don't want to be the only person having a great time. I want everybody to have a great time. Doreen, it costs a lot to buy a house. So here you buy a house as is and build it back up depending on the condition of the house. Yeah. The condition the house is in, yeah. Okay, that's a big part of it. One moment. Uh, 
Okay. And then I'm going to take the chips out and we'll have our guacamole. Yeah, that's a huge part of it. So if you're willing to buy a house that needs a little bit of work, you know, like I am, because I love to work. So to me, that's just the designer special. I get to like design a house, like, wow. That's what I got to do here. It's, it's fun. It's not for everybody. It's time consuming. It's not that, if you're not doing the work and you hire out, like I have a good team of people that does things. I finally got introduced to one. So that's half the battle. And so it becomes like a career. So yeah, you're right. You have to buy a house as is sometimes. Luckily this house was doing good already. Kathy, yes, my mama is with me. She's so beautiful and lovely. Brenda, I take care of my sweet mama too. I am looking forward to buying my first home or condo, but unfortunately only working part-time due to caring for my mom. Do you ever suggest buying a foreclosure? Yes, Brenda. And congratulations on, on learning how to be a mom to your mom. <laughs> I think we switch roles. So it's like you're caring for her. She cared for you all her life. And now you're more like the mom. And she's more like just goes along with things because she just wants to, you know, make everything nice and easygoing. And so it's really good. And I could see how that you're only working part time because you're caring for your mom. It, when you care for people, it is time consuming and it takes up a lot of your energy. And then you find ways to, you know, do other things and it's awesome it's all a part of life i wouldn't want it any other way than to have my family near me doreen you put money into it then rent it out and get your money back plus more yeah so i've never rented any of mine i've always lived in them it's just my timing's been good i figure hey it's time to sell the prices are up you know so and it's time to buy the prices are down you know <laughs> So a little bit of what I do. Yeah, I've never run it on. I've lived it on. Thanks, Mary. You love my hair color? This is actually my natural hair color. I just, like, enhanced it to bring it back. And so, yeah, I love it, too. It's very me. It brought out the real me. Like, ooh, watch out. Because I'm a fire sign Sagittarius. And I have boiling blood if you make me mad. <laughs> <laughs> and I got that fire essence, that Native American fire essence going. Oh, Kathy, you miss your mom. Oh, hugs to you. Hi, Kelly. How are you? Nice to see you, too. Thank you. I made guac. Let me show you. And let me get those chips out. And let me serve it up. I'm gonna serve it up over here. And let me make sure one more comment. I don't wanna leave anybody out. You might like really need to know. Thanks, Kathy, I appreciate your compliment. Cool, so any other questions, real estate? I put an automated message on Facebook and it gives you ways to reach my email. I'm gonna drop it in there too, my email address. I am offering free I don't want to say advice. I don't want to sound like stuck up, but I mean, I do know a lot, you know, I just, I'm offering free consulting just here and there. If you got a quick question and you know, just, Hey, hit me up. We're all friends here. I love you. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Thanks Norma. I appreciate you. Thanks for subscribing to my, uh, becoming a subscriber. Uh, I got guacamole on my fingers here. <laughs> Thanks for becoming a subscriber on Facebook and also on a member on YouTube. And thanks for being a follower, which is a dear friend to me. That's a follower equals dear friend to me. Thank you. Thanks, Doreen. Very nice to see you. Thanks for the stars. I love you and I'll see you later. Oh, and I, as soon as the windstorm stops, I got to go get a manicure. The reason I haven't done it is because Great, I'd love the chat, Brenda, anytime. Hit me up because I wanna help. I wanna make sure that that doesn't happen again. We're gonna get to the bottom of it, okay?
So these nails, they like were really short and I don't like people touching them when they're really, really short. So I have to grow them out a little and then I'm gonna get a manicure. So I'll hit you up around then and we'll do a stretcher size and we'll just be feeling elevated and we'll be manifesting our success. Love you, bye-bye.